What up, YouTube? Big Lou and Big Louise Coach Review back in with another review, and today we're here to do a review on the Avid Life Extension Tube for the Able Mod. Now, what this does is it's just simply just a tube with a male thread up top and a female thread on the bottom, okay? It works with the uh, Able Mod beautifully, but you could use other Avid Life devices that this tube can thread into. Now, the reason why this tube is here is simply to turn a 4.2 volt battery into an 8.4 volt device, basically. So basically, this device is set up almost, it's basically in series, okay? On the top part right here, this top section is my normal Able Mod. The bottom section right here is the extension tube. It has a male thread up top, a female thread on the bottom. It also comes with a little magnet that you stick on your positive end of your battery so it can make contact with the negative battery up top. And all you got to do is just simply screw in your 510 connection of your Able Mod or whatever Avid Life device that you own and the bottom firing switch into the extension tube on the bottom okay it turns uh an, a regular standard tube mod of this length and height with an rda to this so you can see there is a major difference in the length okay and yeah it is longer but it's really not too intrusive it's it's not like it doesn't really get in the way you know and what's nice is with the avid life you can like i said you can change and customize the sleeves on here and i do have a sleeve floating around out there that has a clip on it which is really nice and it's a rarity if you can find it and pick it up i suggest definitely get it if you have the opportunity to get it definitely pick it up but as far as mine the way i have it set up i have it just set up <laughs> like a like a big ass fucking tube and you know what 8.4 volts at 0 0.30 ohms with a dual coil with uh i got the type of wire that i'm using in here is 23 gauge wire doctor wire this shit ramps up super super quick it it just works really well. Um, I've used emulation wire in the past. I like emulation. I like G-Plaid. I like all the other wires out there. But I seem to be drawn more towards the wire Dr. Wire. It's out of Canada. And I like the vapors in Canada. I think they're pretty crazy out there. So uh, big shout out to all the Canadian vapors out there. So, uh, yeah, this... Uh, this setup is just a great setup. I, I mean, I love my Able Mod setup as just a brass mod, but this setup as a 8.4 volts, you know, it's a little, it's a little scary putting 8.4 volts in a build that you're vaping on, you know, because it's a little spooky. But it does hit really nicely, and holy shit, does it fucking chuck! I don't take four or five second drags with this. I take literally like one and a half to two second drags with this. And it just vapes insanely with a huge fucking dense cloud of vape. So if I vape on this, basically. Huge, thick fucking clouds. Just for like a thick and a half, uh, for a, a second and a half type of pull, basically. You know, I'm literally taking a second and a half type of pull. All right. And I'm going through fucking juice like crazy, okay? Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite e-liquids right now. A lot of people, they dislike them, whatever the case is, whatever the case is. I don't give a shit. I like this company. It's called Vape Milk. You get 120 mils of juice for $22.95. Um, I'm down to basically next to nothing left in this juice bottle right now. So I'm literally scrounging. I'm trying to spread it out because i got to place another order for more of this juice. This is Paris... It's kind of like a vanilla ice cream and all this other shit. All vanilla ice creams and vanilla gelato, vanilla this, vanilla that. But it's really good and it vapes really well and it's super tasty on a hot fucking build. Mmm, it's fucking delicious. Now, I got it sitting in my Kennedy 24mm RDA uh, made by the Machinist. 12 or you know the kennedy guy on instagram that's what he goes by the machinist 12 um i got two brass sleeves on here and if i take it apart basically if i unscrew the bottom switch of my this is my standard able mod switch this is nothing different if i take my batteries out i got you can see my batteries are stacked one on top of the other and they're held in by this magnet right here that sits up top on positive contact. Now, what I advise people is, if you're going to take off your contact, right, get yourself a magnet. 
All right, AV Life has got these huge, big ass magnets, and I wouldn't advise you to push this over to the right, this contact, because it is magnets. Let me change the focus so you can see this. All right. Okay, you can see that it's a it's a brass magnet with another magnet directly below it. Okay, so if you were to push and slide it, there's a possibility you can get it underneath the insulator on the battery. So I advise you not to push it off to get it off. Just grab yourself a magnet and then put it to your battery and then it'll pull the contact right off. That's probably the safest way to remove the contact, okay? Uh, most people will sit there and try and grab a plier or something like that. You don't wanna mess with the positive contacts of your battery. You don't wanna have a short where it could vent. And since it's a magnet, and if God forbid you push the magnet over and the positive makes connection with the negative at the same time, it's a magnet. It will stay in that position until the, va until the battery explodes. So you don't wanna do that. So basically, you know, just simply just put your contact right on the, top, on the top part, center of your positive, of your battery. And what I like to do is when I put these in here, oh, and by the way, this is the tube, by the way. It does say AV Life on it. And this is all you're buying, really. You have a male connect up top with a female connect on the bottom, and it's solid brass. Has a little O-ring over here to hold your sleeve. And that's about it. You simply just take this tube, Screw it into any of your AV devices, any of your Avid Life devices. Just simply screw it in. Get the threads correctly lined up. Screw that in. That's nice and good. Take your sleeve, whichever sleeve you may have, whether it's the carbon graphite one that comes with it. You could do carbon graphite. Or you could actually just do a brass sleeve like me, whereas I like brass, so therefore I'm doing a brass sleeve. And then you take your batteries, right? So I'm taking my battery with my contact. I'm going to slide that in there. And then I'm going to take my other battery, which I placed right here, and I'm going to put that in also negative facing the positive of the other battery. So you can see they're connected, okay? And I'm doing positive side down because this device vents from the bottom. You can see the vent holes are on the bottom. So if in the event of the future, if this thing ever decides to vent, I will simply have it set up to where it'll vent out through the button. Instead of traveling from the 510 connection going down to the button, I just got it facing the button. If in the event there were to vent, at least it's venting properly, okay? And that's it. You just have to be mindful when you build these things because you have to do 0 0.3, 0 0.5, uh, 0.35 and above. 0.3 is pretty much the lowest, the absolute lowest you should go with a series, okay? Now, depending on the kind of build that you have, let's say you're at a 0.25, but you got all this heavy wire everywhere and you got a big coil build and you need a certain amount of voltage to ramp up the coil, then that's a different story. But if you're using like three, four wraps of 18 gauge, no, don't definitely don't do that, okay? Um, you have to understand this is unregulated. There's nothing governing these batteries. You hit the button, it's firing. There's nothing governing anything except the coil build. So whatever coil build you put in your RDA, that's what's going to be governing the battery batteries themselves. So just be safe and smart. Uh, I wouldn't suggest this unit for a newbie beginner, okay? I would suggest this unit for somebody who knows what they're doing as far as builds go. So, oh, thanks, honey. Today's my birthday, so my girl wished me happy birthday. Thanks a lot, boo boo. And just right back. Thank you, honey. Yeah, so today I'm 42 years old. Isn't that nice? So today I'm 42, yada, yada, yada. Happy birthday to me. So I got a nice treat. I found this in the mail. This was, it's great. I've been using it since, yes, uh, well, it was in my mailbox since Friday, but I just got the mail yesterday. So I've been using it since yesterday. So it's not bad. Great device, great tube. Um, you shine it up, it looks gorgeous. You know, this all shined up looks very nice. Uh, even when it patinas, brass looks nice when it's patinaed. But I like my brass shiny. It's just incredible the vape you get out of here, you know. And when I did my Noisy Cricket video, 
I didn't like it because the button was a piece of shit on the Noisy Cricket. And then people later found out, yeah, the Noisy Cricket was good in the beginning, but it sucked down the line because the button sucked. And it's true, the button did suck. It was a $40 piece of shit series device. But there's people out there, they swear by it because they love j and they love this one and they love that one. So they kiss their ass. I don't kiss anybody's ass. This, if I want series, I'm sticking with this. This is a great series device. Uh, it's really good for those who know what the fuck they're doing. And that's it. So if you're going to get a device like this, definitely know the type of builds you throw in there. If you don't do builds yourself and you go to the vape shop, please let them know that you want a .40 and up. .4, .5, Don't go lower than .4 if you don't know what you're doing, okay? And if you can't handle a very hot build, don't go below .5. Just stay at .5 and up. Don't go to .4, .3. Don't do it, you know? Just don't do it. So play it safe. Do the right thing. Know your Ohm's Law. Know your hydrogen batteries. Know what the fuck you're doing. If you're going to get this device, please be sure you know what the hell you're doing. And that's all I can tell you, folks. So from me to you, YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe to these videos. If you want to pick up this device, this tube, I believe there's probably a waiting list. I jumped on it the moment it came out. Uh, and there were other people who had them before me. They were trialing, uh, trial and error on them. They were doing testing on it. And I wish I was one of those people. But 109 bucks, money well spent. Definitely a really good extension tube and a good device to walk around with. So from me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Latest.